Hi, so I feel really led by God to give this message that I'm giving today. Um, it's very, extremely, very important. So please be very sober as you listen to it. Um, I want to begin by prayer. Dear Lord, I come to you in the name of Jesus and I ask God that you will just lead me and guide me as I give this word and please help uh, the people to receive this word, Lord God. Send forth your Holy Ghost uh, Spirit and so the people will uh, receive this word and Lord, I pray that eyes will be opened and ears will hear what your word says to the people and that it will penetrate through the hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. So uh, what I'm going to be discussing today is just the different types of Christians, professing Christians, that are headed towards hell according to the word of God. Um, and this is the word of Jesus himself. Um, in the New Testament, in red, Jesus' own words. So, today I'm going to be going, starting at Matthew, with Matthew 24, and I'm going to go into Matthew 25. Most Christians have read these scriptures a million times, like myself, and really didn't understand what they were hearing, and God be, began to open this up and to reveal to me what he was really saying, so I want to go, go over those things. Um, so starting with Matthew 24, and I'm not going to go over all of Matthew 24. Um, please go ahead and read that on your own when you get a chance. Um, so in the beginning of Matthew 24, Jesus is pretty much just giving a play-by-play -play encounter of what is going to happen during the end days. But he ends Matthew 24 talking about the first type of saint, uh, professing saint that is going to hell um, that is not watching. And I'm going to go ahead and read exactly what the word says in verse 24. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 48, that is. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and apport him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So here you see this man started off as a man of God, a professing saint. Um, but he began to sin. He began to hang around with, with sinners, um, and he started to smite his fellow servants. So these fellow servants, these are saints of God that he began to maybe harass or beat. You know, these um, true saints, probably, you know, true fundamental Christians that he began to, you know, to smite according to the word of God. And the Bible makes it very clear that this man will end up in hell, weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's hell. Um, and from other end time Bible studies uh, in the Old Testament, we know that I'm not going to go over right now, but Jesus is coming back with fire and his sword. So I think it's very significant that the word here says, cut him asunder. But I'm not going to go into that too much. I want to just really just go over the different types of saints according to the word of God, uh, professing saints going to hell. So, um... I'm going to go on now into Matthew 25 and starting at the verse, first verse. Um, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They were, they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, Not so, lest there not be enough for us and you. 
but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. So let me point this out. Um, I started off saying Matthew 24 um, was talking about a play-by-play -play of Jesus coming. So these, these verses are not just talking about professing saints going to hell. It's also talking about the end days and when Christ comes. So it's also talking about, you know, those professing saints that are doing these things are not going to make it. So here you see this type of professing Christian um, did not have any punch in their Christian life. No oil, no anointing, no fire, no light equals no Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. And Psalms tells us that Jesus, that God, it says the Lord is light. He is our light. Um, these professing Christians are lacking in their relationship with God. Um for this type, the word makes it very clear that Jesus will close the door to glory on them. He will also tell them, I know you not. And we know from Matthew 7 and 23, and then will I profess unto them, this is Jesus talking, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me. So, um, you know, if you're a Christian today, and you're really lacking in your relationship with God, you, you have no oil for your lamp. If you don't have any oil, there's no way to light a lamp with no oil. Okay, so if you're you're lacking in your relationship, um, but you're, you know, you're going around, I'm a Christian, you go to church and blah, 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 but you're not reading the Word and spending time with God, you best beware, okay, according to the Word of God. Um, so I'm going to go on to verse 14, Matthew 25, 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another uh, two, and to another one. To every man according to his ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, and he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. And after a long time, the Lord of the servants cometh and reckoned with him. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents, behold. I have gained all beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Um, <clears throat> I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping well thou hast not sown. And gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Okay, verse 26. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Okay, thou knowest that I reap where I sow it not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money into the exchanges, 
And then at my coming, I should have received mine own usury, mine own with usury. Take thou for the talent from him and give it unto him which had ten talents. And for every one, for unto every one that had shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that had not shall be taken away even that which he had. Get this part. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What does this scripture mean? In this scripture, you see these this this type of professing saint is not using the talents that God gave them. Okay, and this this blew my mind when I read this. I could not believe this. I could not believe that you can actually go to hell from not using the talents that God gave you. And he makes that very, very clear. If you have the talent of preaching or, you know, whatever your talents are, I'm not sure, you know, it's many talents out there. And you're kind of sitting on them, you know, not doing anything that God gave you talent to do. You can actually go to hell for that. I was blown away by that. When I read that, I fell on my knees and I just began to really pray because that, that was really scary. And, and God makes it very, very clear, weeping and gnashing of teeth, that's hell for not using your talent. So, you know, like I said, this is a very important message. Um, so just let that sink in, that you can actually go to hell for not using your talent. So, Wow. Very, very scary stuff. Okay, this is the last last type of professing saint that can go to hell. Verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him. So once again, we're talking about when Jesus comes. This is not, you know, uh, lots of people are looking forward to the rapture. But they're really not ready. They're not ready for Jesus to come. That's why I need to show you guys what the Word of God says. Okay? So I'm going to go, go on. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, there shall he sit upon the throne 